I want to do that thing where um, the podcast starts, but people are already talking. And oh, like, oh they're yeah. Already, they're at the end of somebody's at the end of the story, and they're having like a everybody's laughing already. <laughs> Should we do? I it? don't know how. You, I don't know how they do that. Well, if they have stationary microphones, we could probably do that. But since these are handhelds, it would be weird for us to hold them up and talk without it recording. But I, I just think that that's like the coolest way to podcast. Where it yeah, starts yeah, and yeah, yeah, sure. Some guys like, and then I said. D- that's my dick, pal. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Woo. just joining us, <laughs> oh, yeah, are we there. recording? Oh, did you, you just come there? in? We're yeah. recording. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a way it. to do that. We, we don't just have... did it. Just cut that. I'm not cutting anything. <laughs> just start right where you fu- say. I'm not. I'm not editing shit. <laughs> just start right where you say, and that's when I said. Yeah, I edit the podcast in Microsoft Paint, so there's no way. To <laughs> <do it. laughs> I just I import the audio file and it looks like a bunch of fucked up like bits and shit. And <laughs> yeah. I, I, I f- figure out it's like a, a way that the code forms mm. a swastika in the middle, yeah. <laughs> and then and that's when you it's highlight perfect. it in red paint, and then you save the file, uh-huh. and then I upload it. So there's actually a secret. There's secret swastikas hidden in Cumtown, uh, in very every, similar to World Peace. Oh, that's... We stole <laughs> that bit from World Peace. <laughs> yeah, do they do that. Uh, they have swastikas in it. That's what people were saying. I didn't see any, and I check for them in every show. <laughs> Bones, the yeah. show Bones. Has I a actually, lot of I them. used to but work. Yeah, I used does. to work for TBS as their like head uh, swastika checker. <laughs> that was my job, like a quality control type. Yeah. Job. yeah. Uh, who's the boss? Reruns one point five swastikas every minute. A minute. A minute. Yeah. Is they, it they Tony Danza's in. chest hair? Yeah, Tony Danza's chest hair. <laughs> Shaved his ethnicity. I thought he was like a Mussolini brown shirt. I didn't think he was a Nazi. <laughs> yeah. Well, he just loves fascism. He's a fascist. <laughs> That's why the show's yeah. called Who's the Boss? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Nobody knows. No one knows. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Is it him? What a terrible so. show, by the way. I never, ever watched it. It was almost like offensive how bad it was. It would be on and it was like been on for like ten years. Yeah, or the, crazy. I don't know if it was that long, but the 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 jokes would hit and you'd be like, "Ah, oh, God, <laughs> stop! <laughs> don't fucking say that kind of shit." <laughs> and, like, and people are laughing at it. What the fuck is this? It's like it, was, it made you feel sort of sick to watch oh, it. Oh like man, you, I want to watch. You could feel like a tumor growing. What, in your what head. was the setup like? Um, it was a single guy. Yeah, it's a single guy with a daughter. They're from the Bronx. See, the mom walked out or something, and then he gets a job being like a house like a house oh, lady. he cleans houses he cleans the house for a rich lady who's like a murphy brown type oh and then nice. she's got a daughter i, I, I think and then the, one of know, them is uh that hot lady Alyssa milano yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Alyssa milano is the daughter mm-hmm. how how old is she in this woo, 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 woo. <laughs> is it illegal to beat off to porn or not porn but to beat off to like someone who is 13 but you they're of age now. Yes. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, that's a le- I don't know if it's... <laughs> it's not like you can get caught with a bunch of child porn and be like, uh, 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 this is from 1993. So, technically, this is she's old enough to be your older sister, pal. Yeah. Why don't you get out of here, creepazoid? It is illegal to beat off to someone who's subsequently died. That is illegal. It's illegal? Yeah, yeah. Damn, dude. Yeah. I've beat off so many Selena. No, I've never beat off Selena. <laughs> there's a lot of porn stars that have died. Yeah, you can't. Like, it's illegal. Have in memoriam comments about it. <laughs> they're like, dude, like, I miss you so much. You're just getting fucked in the ass. Do they do that at the AVN Awards, the in memoriam <laughs> session? You're doing, you're doing a Hampton Yount bit right now. Is that a bit that he yeah. does? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a very good bit. It's very funny. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. look it up, folks. I'll look it up. Um, and now I will do the bit <laughs> on the podcast. But you cited it. Yeah, I did. So it counts. Yeah. This, we're, uh, what is it? MLA? MLS? What's it called when you fucking cite something? Yeah, MLA. That's MLA, how, that's how yeah. often I've like plagiarized. Or APA. Is yeah, I don't remember. Or Chicago. Or Chicago. Chicago style. That's where you, <laughs> you shoot a Tommy gun all over yeah, the yeah, yeah. There's a pickle, a, a Chicago typewriter. There's yeah. a pickle on top, and it's a poppy seed bun and uh, mm. mustard. They put uh, the sauce on top. Yeah. They got this thick the bread. Yeah, right. Chicago pizza is disgusting. Oh, it's not pizza. They should just call it Chicago lasagna. Yeah, yeah, it's true. I would be much happier if you were telling me that was a style of Chicago lasagna. Chicago pizza is the best lasagna, for that's, sure. That's what I was, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
That's the it's best pretty lasagna good. I've, I've had, had some good Chicago pizza. But it's pizza? pizza? That's not what the fuck pizza is. Absolutely Pizza's not. supposed to be thin and oily and the cheese is good. It's a uh-huh. whole fucking loaf of bread, usually. Well, no. You. What about uh, Siciliano pizza, the squares? The squares Gra- is It was a grandma, grandma style. style. I like that shit, too. I don't know. That's weird. That, but, you know, that's just a difference in shape. You know, that's like the Wendy's burgers. <laughs> right. I made a joke yesterday. The, re- the best pizza, I mean, like, if of all the styles of pizza, New York's pretty good, Chicago's good, but I think we can all agree the best style of pizza is uh, is uh, Comet Ping Pong pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's got a secret ingredient in the back room, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. I made a joke yesterday on Twitter about... Um, about how the Roberta's in Bushwick, which is like another fancy pizza place in Brooklyn, is now doing Pizzagate. And then someone sent me a link to a Reddit. Yeah, that's already happening. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, they already What's linked. up with you doing other people's bits? It, I, you're I doing just, Hampton's bit. Now you're doing the alt right pizza. I, I, pizza I, I didn't, pizza I didn't think that... No, they like, had a Hillary fundraiser there. In so, 2012, yeah. they had a Hillary fundraiser. and that, So people are saying that now that's Pizzagate. Yeah, listen up, folks. You're going to hear... this, is, And this is... This is the source of this. I have an amazing Pizzagate story that you're not going to find online. This isn't me repeating oh, something. Oh, excellent. I was working with this guy the other day, and uh, he's like, man, I've got this, like, he's, uh, you know, he's like, have you heard about this Pizzagate thing? And I'm like, uh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, it's the funniest shit in the world to me. And he goes, yeah, this kind of fucked up thing happens. He's like, one of my friends actually works at that restaurant. And he, like, works at Comet Ping Pong Pizza. And I was like, holy shit, you got an inside source if you, like, asked him about it or whatever? And he was like, uh, nah, this, like, fucked up thing happened where, like, me and all my friends, I guess they're friends from college, were in a group text. And we're all texting. And we were like, you know, oh, hey, like, Kenny, like, you know, I uh, hope everything's all right or whatever. And then Kenny's like, uh, yeah, everything's fine. Like, uh, you want an autograph or something? And uh, they were like, ha ha, I guess. But, you know, that's kind of scary or whatever. And then they're like all talking about other shit. And then eventually that person's number was like, seriously, what the fuck is this group text even about? And they were like, uh, they're like, is this Kenny? And I guess the guy's number had changed. What? So it's not their friend that works at Comedy Ping Pong Pizza. She's like, this is uh, Maddie Ziegler or something. And they look it up, and it's a 13-year-old girl who's, like, the star of, like, I don't know, some, like, dancing, dan- some what? dancing show. Yeah. It happened to change to her number, and she thought that they these were, like, fans that got her number somehow. So it's guys texting someone who works at Comet Ping Pong Pizza about Pizzagate, but it's accidentally a, th- a 13-year-old girl's <laughs> phone number, and they're texting her about pedophilia. And I'm hoping that this is, like, some bombshell thing that blows up. And it gets even bigger because they accidentally texted this star child about Pizzagate. Well, that's enough evidence for me. Pizzagate is real. I think so. It, yeah. How great of a coincidence that is. That's it's incredible. incredible. I know. Yeah. Yeah. What if What if they killed the guy and gave it to one of the children, his phone to one of the children? That's how phone. they do it. They give him hush phones. <laughs> yeah. Here, it's got Pokemon Go on there. <laughs> you're not allowed to tell anyone what happened. And if anyone asks, you're Kenny. <laughs> if you get any kind of group text about cocaine, your name is Kenny. <laughs> you went to fucking ASU. You're 32 years old. Oh, hell yeah. Working at, holding down Comet Ping Pong. I think we should just keep implicating different pizza restaurants mm-hmm. we should tell the alt-right that like uh every bertucci's every bertucci every yeah. bertucci they well, will, will and i were joking around last night we're like yeah famous original rays you know how there's like 25 of those in new york city yeah we should just like tell them that's that's pizza gate they'll just go around to every single shooting one. every yeah. just shoot every single. well they're all coded like papa john's that one's pretty obvious um pizzeria uno the uno that means one so as in one-year-olds. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and it's Spanish, too, so they have a racial preference. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, anchor babies. Little brown babies. I understand that pizzeria. Is Uno also one in Italian? Maybe. Maybe. Well, Uno that answers that Uno. question. I, always, I was like, why is it supposed to be like a Mexican pizza restaurant? I never understood what is it's Uno? called Pizzeria Uno. Probably. Yeah, like, uh, is French yeah. and... And yeah. uh, in Greek. Italian and Spanish are basically the same language, except you swap all the E's for I's. Hmm. Uh, Barretto. Okay. Is that how you say... Barretto. Yeah. In Italian? A burrito? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Spaghetti. 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 I'm having some hard times with this. 
I can't read, so. <laughs> yeah. It's a slow day. I was <laughs> at work till 3 a.m. Oh, what were you doing? Truck Boys? Truck Boys, yeah. What were you working on? Uh, That big uh concert, that like iHeartRadio concert. Oh, with, shit. Like, Justin Bieber and <laughs> Hell yes. fucking Ellie Goulding and shit. What did you have to do? You just pick up shit for them? You have yeah, to give head, just, I sat in Justin Bieber the entire time. Yeah, that's yeah so, so I didn't even, I didn't even, I didn't even get to see Justin Bieber. Dude. <laughs> that was that's the fucking one reason I took the job. <laughs> it's like, it, who is now dressing like me, circa 2009? By the <laughs> What's way, he got going. He's got the big, big flannels, fucking dumbass aviators, and yeah, he looks like exactly like I looked. The shorts. Yeah, he's wearing Jewish basketball shorts. shorts. Yeah. He's drunk all the time. Yeah. Uh, wow. He's fucking cheating on his girlfriend because <laughs> it's funny. Real <laughs> Mullen moves. Yeah. <laughs> The mull- out of the Mullen vault. Yeah. Soon what if Brandon's just- going to be stealing all of his jokes. <laughs> Brandon Wardell, folks. Brandon Wardell, check him out online. Uh, he steals jokes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. We'll just talk about it because Brandon will hear it. But what the fuck? He's doing like... Uh, no, like, he doesn't subscribe to premium. Oh, he doesn't? Yeah. Oh. Well, he, he told me he stopped listening to Come Town because we talk about him every single episode. That's no, we don't. Which we haven't talked about him for like two and a half, three months. Also, Good. that'd be the only reason he would listen to anything yeah if people were talking about him he's trying to pretend like that's a, the only reason. not oh, yeah, a selling yeah. point well here's how we <laughs> like get, here's how like hearing <laughs> about himself <laughs> here's how we get him to subscribe to the premium i'm going to title this one like uh uh real brandon wardell shit talk <laughs> 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 and then <laughs> oh wait i have to hear it <laughs> and take his fucking money that's what he gets for stealing uh, my did she slay joke <laughs> and putting it on Instagram. <laughs> he did that. Well, he, he thought you were extremely offline, so yeah, he thought it was his time. Find oh, out. is that what happened? <laughs> once you once you go offline, he once you log off, can, yeah. Brandon feels like it's 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 his for the taking. Yeah, he yeah. did your sucking off a horse tweet. <laughs> <laughs> the one that did big numbers five years ago. <laughs> But he told that on uh, the Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Yeah. Actually, yeah, uh, the Roots loved it. The who? The Roots? The Roots, of Canada. <laughs> Isn't that a clothing company? Roots Canada. Roots. You would wear some shit like that. It's like a fucking ski wear company or some shit. So, but it's spelled Roots. It's it's spelled pronounced, Roots. Pronounced Roots. I think they say w- Roots. Can we talk more shit about Brandon? Though? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Uh, he's gay. Yeah, he sucks, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, I met his his friend. His friend uh, harasses me on the internet too. Darcy. <laughs> Darcy. Yeah. <laughs> I had like a was having a normal conversation with her, and then I went out to smoke a cigarette, and then she tweeted, "Ugh, first night out in weeks, and the first thing I have to hear is some man tell me that he has a friend <laughs> who has a podcast called Chapo." Which I was just like, Will told me he met her. I was like, oh, my friend Will um, from Chapa said he met you. This is and good, then, to actually. Yeah, we should clear the air because this, this, she is a piece of shit for doing this. <laughs> yeah. And fuck then, Darcy. Fuck her stupid <laughs> MTV blog job. Whatever the fuck she does. <laughs> yeah, she's, I, I had to look up who she is. Like, I, I swear to God, at least seven times. Because I forget every time, and then I'm like, "Oh, oh who's this? It's Darcy." Son. She has what like is, a what septum she, piercing. What does she do? And then I account. look it up, and then I'm like, "Oh, this is bullshit." Okay, yeah, I don't <laughs> yeah, really yeah. know who the fuck this is. She always says like, you know, like I hate men, but I need them. You know, that's yeah, like her yeah. Whole, that is yeah. a persona for sure, yeah. uh, which is a shittier version of the women you can't live with them, you can't kill them joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know what? You can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's the flaw in that joke is you can totally kill them. Wait, is it you can't live with them, can't live without them? No, it's the joke is women, you can't live with them, you can't kill them. Uh, is that like a bumper sticker type of joke? Yeah, well, that's the kind of comedy I do. Yeah. I'm trying to get in the bumper sticker game. Can you imagine how rich the guy that came up with that stupid coexist bumper sticker is? He just owns it was slaves. the Koch brothers. It yeah. was the guy. <laughs> Some guy that owns slaves. <laughs> that would be so awesome if that paid for like the electric well, shock I've been, therapy. Well, I've been wetting my dandies with all this coexist money. <laughs> about, about a score now. People keep buying them and they got no idea. I own 3,500 slaves. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only working plantation still in existence down here in Louisiana. <laughs> do you think uh, they would let, like in Saudi Arabia, do you think like those guys could go over and just have slaves there 
Of course. Like if you're really into slaves, you mm-hmm. can oh, make a southern guy style plantation. Trying to bring mm-hmm. slave back. You can yeah. do that in Liberia if you're the Firestone Corporation. Not, oh, yeah, yeah. It's true, yeah. yeah. They just had a, they had like a, a fucking, <laughs> there's a front true. line about it. It's really good. They had, what? They open it, well, it's a, pla- I, you can still have a plantation. Plantation right. doesn't necessarily mean that slavery is right. happening. It's just a plantation. Right. But they had a, a, like a rubber tree plantation, the Firestone Corporation in Liberia, and they pay people dog shit or whatever. Right. And there's right. literally like a big house, you know, Jesus where all Christ. the white people live, uh-huh. and like, you know, the people who work for the Firestone Corporation. <laughs> And then there was some kind of civil war in Liberia, and uh, all the like people who work for for Firestone were like, "Please help us! You have to save us!" <laughs> Please. Jesus and Firestone Christ. was like, uh, "See you later." And they just, like, <laughs> oh, no. Got yeah. on a helicopter and abandoned all these people to Jesus be slaughtered. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. All their workers. Oh yeah, Damn. they they were not treated. I mean, they were getting like arms cut off and shit, right? Mm-hmm. By, oh by Firestone. God, yeah, yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. It's really, really terrible. The CEO of Firestone is now the ambassador uh, to Liberia. Yeah, yeah. Right. But he's, <laughs> he's, he's the secretary of don't do slavery. <laughs> <laughs> he's the not doing slavery secretary. <laughs> <laughs> we have uh, uh, George Zimmerman as the secretary of not shooting black children. <laughs> and oh, Aaron Glazer is the secretary of not raping people. <laughs> Uh, I wonder what he's up to. Uh, he works at a, a gold an apple store. Yeah. No joke, for real. He legitimately works at one of the apple stores here. Mm-hmm. And he like someone says he looks like Sling Blade now. Uh, he works at an apple store. Yes, that is so funny. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. noted that rapist. That <laughs> ap- apple has no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, how does he look like Sling Blade? That's now? just what. Someone told me he has an underbite. He has what? He has a bowl cut and over. You can't look like that at. I guess he's got a weird hat, hair, and he fucking shaved or some shit. I don't fucking know. He has a bowl cut. Somebody, dude, I'm just reporting back what I heard. Who said this? Who is so bad at owns that that's their fucking go to reference and is completely not fitting? Was Was it Ian Blade? It was not Ian. You know what? Let's just say it was Ian, just to make fun of him. No, tell me who said. I don't remember who fucking said it. Who are you protecting? (laughs) <laughs> I know who he's protecting. Who, who am I protecting? This awful sl- sling uh, blade reference. It was uh, you know I, I, have, I have so much trouble. <laughs> yeah. I have so much trouble saying sling blade. I do the fucking Chinese LR thing like half the time. String <laughs> blade. Uh, yeah, I go. I, I call it string string braid. <laughs> String <laughs> and I don't know why. I just have trouble. <laughs> that movie Maybe is so fucking good, by the way. Some fall call it a Kaiser braid. Dwight Yoakam's character in that movie is so fucking funny. Call, he's hilarious. He's That's such so a great performance. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm getting the boys together. Yeah, yeah. That was his, that's his, I'm calling the band. His permanent threat to his wife is yeah. that he's going to get his band back together. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, I'm friends with the sheriff. <laughs> getting the boys back together. <laughs> Yeah, That's I us. love that movie. We're the wait, boys. Wait, Dwight Yoakam was also a country singer and yeah. an actor. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I, he's known as a country singer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but he was in, in like that things. David Lynch movie, right? Wasn't he in which one? Dune. Yeah, Dune. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He played a big worm that sucks your dick. Yeah, I've never seen Dune. <laughs> and that's my favorite David Lynch movie is Dune. <laughs> a lot. I've I've heard that take, but that's a very Brooklyn kind of bullshit. Oh but damn! No, I, that's been that? my opinion since because I don't actually like David Lynch, mm, so yeah, yeah. I like Dune as a movie. Yeah, you know, you don't like David. Isn't Lynch, it about? No, is really. it about? Like I don't like worms? Tim Burton. You know? Oh, that's but that's completely different. I know. It's well. I'm saying it's in terms of I don't like Tim Burton, but I like. Uh, Nightmare before fuck you like uh, no, shopping really. at Hot Topic. Yeah, yeah. I like I like wearing I like I like having scissor hands. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, what the Did fuck? Did you is? like Edward Penis hands? No, Mars Attacks. Mars Attacks is one oh, of my yeah. favorite movies. Oh That's yeah, was movie. that Tim Burton? Yeah, I didn't even know. Oh, no really? shit, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's Tim Burton. No yeah. shit, dude. Yeah, yeah, I and love that I, movie. And I fucking don't like any of his other movies, but that in Mars Attacks is. Like, you don't like the Batman he did? Like top ten for me. No, no, it was fun. I thought they were. I thought they were kind of stupid. I like when uh, I like that I like when the Joker and his crew just vandalizes a museum. I think that's them being badass. I like that too. And they're playing a Prince song, Bat Dance. Bat Dance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Favorite, there's a couple of songs. I'm trying to remember. Uh, there's rap songs where like they brag about being a badass, and one of the brags is like, uh, "Yeah, no seatbelt." 
<laughs> like being on the freeway without wearing a seatbelt. Like Who driving is that? past. I don't know. It was it was like the early knots. I remember being in high school and hearing like two or three songs where people would brag about no seatbelt. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a good brag. Yeah. I there was one song I remember I where somebody was bragging change. about having brunch with the mayor. <laughs> Which just sounds gay. That's just every. That's every. Yeah. I got so much power. I'm having brunch with the mayor. That's every no, like Jay Z that song. I like post that black album. Every Jay Z song is like Basque, ah, ah, Picasso. Ah. He just like names artists. And, like, Why did every is. every rapper just? Decided Basquiat was the best painter. Like he's, he's like movie. graffiti looking. Yeah, yeah. It's he's just a, like Rick he's a Ross. black guy. He does heroin. He's cool. Yeah, he does have cool hair. He's got cool hair. Yeah. Um, he was one of the characters in Rent. Yeah, Basquiat? yeah. I don't know. I've never <laughs> yeah. seen Rent. Me I just know that. I just know that. I saw the, a It's song. not Stomp, right? I swear to God, I thought Stomp was about eight. Five hundred twenty-five. Like, no, I conflated those two things my whole life. <laughs> I thought Stomp was about AIDS, and they were like doing fucking garbage can shit. Rent is trash, dude. I, I saw the movie. It's trash. Absolute trash. I, I just wanted everyone to die. You know what's great? Cats. Cats? <laughs> yeah. Is that I've still never going on? Seen it. Go see you know what's cats? so funny is then there's this like, cultural like obsession. Miz. This is an obnoxious cultural obsession with cats, but right. it doesn't extend to the Cats musical. <laughs> you would think cats would be doing great right now. Oh, yeah. But people are like, no, we want actual cats. Yeah. For, for, for 35 years, we wanted men dressed as cats. <laughs> and now we want real cats. Longest running play of all time. Yo, is that still going on or no? Long, what? Cats? cats? Yeah. Can we go see Cats? Yeah, we that'd be see funny. That we should go see it. And no, I, I already, shit. I already said. If I'm spending money at the theater, what I want to go see is that uh, that Gloria Estefan bio musical. No man, fuck turn that. the heat, turn the beat, yeah, heat around. Like that. Yeah. Turn the beat. I, again, that's one of those other things. Is I've that what it's called? The name like 35 times. I can't remember. Suck my father's Do you like penis. the Miami Sound Machine and Gloria Estefan? Uh, yeah, sure. I was just hoping that it would end the same way Selena does. To make sure <laughs> they didn't have like an ending for the, they didn't have like an ending for the Gloria Stefan musical, so they're like, how about you just get shot and by her Christie? biggest by fan maid yeah. turned manager? Yeah, she was the head of the Selena fan club. And then, yeah, she hired her, which is a fucking ridiculous move. Crazy. You ever been to Corpus? I hear it's one of the worst places in America. Sucks dick. Dude. I've never been there. I was in. I was staying in it's like the a, armpit of Texas. I was staying in a, in a fucking motel there, and um, they had uh, you know like one of those Gideon's Bibles in the hotel, and it was just it was this shitty. Deep. It was this shitty, you know, like a oh, yeah. motel behind like a hotel or Motel Six. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I was splitting the room with like two other comics. It was like a one bed situation. Ugh. The floor and, was probably really clean. Well, there was just nothing. There was no TV or anything. In there. <laughs> I was like looking at the Bible and I thumbed through it. And in the beginning of like the Gideon's Bible, they have you know uh, I guess what is it Matthew twenty whatever that whatever yeah. uh, no John three sixteen I get which oh, yeah, the one yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, about oh, yeah, go preach cold. yeah preach his fucking you know word or whatever. Uh, but th- so they have it in every language, uh, but then it said Arabic, and then someone had like torn out where it had it in Arabic. <laughs> And I was like, fuck yeah, dude. That's so awesome. Fuck yeah, Texas. <laughs> yeah, Corpus Christi has jack shit, dude. They got an Outback Steakhouse. And then people l- like earnestly brag about the fucking Whataburger that has an elevator in it. It's like a two-story Whataburger. Oh, my God. And they're like, have you seen that Whataburger that's got two stories? What? Yeah. Damn, dude. I think that's pretty cool. Corpus, I've never it's eaten crazy. a burger. Yeah, two floor, two floor fast food places are nothing. That's a sad place. That means either it's like they have those in Manhattan. Can, yeah, fine, but but also if they're like little towns, it's like that's like the cultural center of that. town. Well, the cultural center of every town now is Starbucks, which is why fucking conservatives have to. They, that's why they, they're mad they at act it. out all of their 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 cultural warfare at Starbucks. <laughs> right, right, right. As I love that the war on Christmas is translated from, or uh, you know, uh, uh, transmogrified from being a thing where it's like, you know, oh, they're not saying happy hol, they're, they're saying happy holidays, not Merry Christmas at Starbucks. Now it's like either you write Trump on the cup, or I'm bringing my gun in here. <laughs> yeah, and it's like this has nothing to do with Christmas anymore. <laughs> you just have to fucking get mad. They're like I don't want health care, and you better. <laughs> And the barista's like, sir, what is your name? What do you want? <laughs> you better take my fucking health care away, Starbucks. <laughs> do not treat my pre-existing yeah, conditions. Yeah. 
And it's like, they wouldn't be going in there unless they wanted the coffee. Either. I know. So. It's the best part. You're still patronizing the business. It's not how you boycott something. is by filming yourself having a temper tantrum next to the John Legend CDs. <laughs> the John Legend yeah. Christmas album. I'll write my name on this John Legend Christmas album. <laughs> write it on there. My name is Trump. Boop. And then also put, uh, put something about uh, 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 the Jews. Thank you. <laughs> That's a classic. Yeah. yeah, man. My friend's mom used to buy him CDs from Starbucks because she thought it was cool. And we'd be like... Who the fuck is Sarah Berellius? <laughs> what the Dude, fuck on, is the king of everything? That's a fucking heater. You know what I want to do is uh, is this, this CD men. compilation called Adult Spop, where I take <laughs> children's songs <laughs> and, get and I have adults sing them, and then we add like swears in there. So it's like the wheels on the bus. And it's mm-hmm. like the wheels on the bus, motherfucker. Go around and around, bitch. <laughs> round and the and driver round. sucks my dick. Yeah. No, not even parody songs. It's no? the same song. Same song. But then uh, it, an additional track over it where I just say, like, fuck and shit <laughs> at random intervals. That's cool. Yeah. I would you, buy it. You should legitimately release Adult Bop. <laughs> Put that bitch on motherfucking... That's premium yeah. content, bro. That'd be good. Adult Bop. I want to do... Because, you know, this episode's kind of whatever so far. Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Uh, whatever. I'm tired. I'm tired of, like, stressing out about it when... We're fucking lazy. We can't do our job, and Adam keeps interrupting me. You know, <laughs> I didn't. I went, yeah, you did numerous times. When you're doing it right now, <laughs> so you know, I don't know. I, I'm tired. What we're gonna do to make up for it? If you're listening to this premium episode right now, and you gotta hold me to this, remember, if if I don't do this, you gotta. Well, you, it's really you'd have no option. Uh, but uh, <laughs> uh, I started doing it last year for Christmas as a present to you. Is the Carol of the Bells? Oh yeah, but the I fuck my dad acapella. Yeah, version. yeah, yeah. We should do a Christmas I fuck album. My dad. Oh, I fuck my dad. I think we Listen, definitely one hundred percent should do a Christmas album. We have album. F- enough time. Like, let's get Sucking together. Let's around. do it. Yeah. Well, it's also it's not like somebody's gonna be like, I have to have it in time to show my family <laughs> <Yeah>. for Christmas. <laughs> It's just a dumb thing we're doing. It'd almost be funnier if we put it off till February. <laughs> yeah. What was the one we added? The, the bum bum bum, suck my, my dick, dick, suck my dick, dick suck, suck my oh. dick and ass. Yeah, that was, we were doing that on the train last year. Yeah. We had some really good ones. That one got me going for a while. I like on the, I like uh, Twelve Days of Christmas, but every time it's and uh, and a partridge sucking my dick or something like that. Six partridges are sucking my dick. Five partridges are sucking my dick, and just mm-hmm. do that the whole time. <laughs> I've been doing, I've been doing in like a in like a diminutive Guatemalan immigrant voice, like police suck my dick, police suck my dick, police suck my dick, prospero año, please suck my dick. I want you to suck my dick, please. I want you to suck on it, please. Can I do like one Hanukkah? Yeah, of course, dude. Like no, uh, Adam Sandler. Dreidel, dreidel, that. dreidel. I fuck my mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. That's a good. Or one. dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I made you out of jizz. No, dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. I fuck my dad. I'm gay. <laughs> I fuck my dad. I'm gay. <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just throw on some. Cri- you guys should come over to my house. Shaggy. I have it. It's fucking decked out Christmas style. Yeah, we decorated we'll the shit. Yeah, we got a booth. Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Sound my booth. room is essentially a fucking sound. We'll just record in my little no, ass room. Not, dude. It's got holes up by the ceiling. No, it's got glass. That's an acoustic nightmare. <laughs> That's what we call that in the business. How do I soundproof that shit so I can beat off more fuel? Egg you, gotta, you gotta get soundproof and put it on the fucking walls. Yeah, I get egg crates, bro. You take take a little uh, little trip to Home Depot, get some spray foam. The deeps. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. I'm not doing that shit. I, Dude, you want to do some home improvement at my house? I want to put a shelf up. Yeah, I got you. Hell yeah. I'll make you a fucking shelf. I want to make a fucking blender station for my damn smoothies. Yeah. I feel so good I had fucking kale and spinach. Well, what I want to do, if I get the Vitamix, I want to wall mount it, but in like a recessed uh, <laughs> wall alcove. Awesome. So the blender is perpendicular to the wall, recessed. That's incredible. So I, I push food into it from the yes, wall. Yes, bitch. And then a tube comes yes, out. Yes, my and, bitch. And then you just drink out of the tube. <laughs> I like that. Hell yeah. 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 
You say that as a bit, but I want that. No, nah, there's so many things I want. The ignorant ways I would spend money if I had a lot of it. <laughs> we got to we got to figure out how to get the the Chapo Patreon is now up to like twenty eight thousand. I know. I checked it yesterday, <laughs> and it was, they're getting they're getting a fucking they're getting like two uh 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 kia uh two kias yeah. two like honda sonatas a month <laughs> yo if we got that money we should just buy two sonatas and just crash them every month yeah of course instead of if, i tell you bills. this guys tell your family you know what you do i I'll, if you if you hit me up i'll send you a high-res version of the come town logo <laughs> you can print them out at your local library <laughs> don't pay for the printer. They can't do anything if you don't pay anything. No, it's your if tax you go to, dollars. Uh, yeah. you if you go to the library and you print something, and they're like, 50 cents, please. You go, what do you do? Call the fucking cops. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not paying shit. Just walk the fuck out. You walk out. Spin all the their old face. They can't, the cops will fucking laugh at them. You Absolutely. pay their taxes. The cops, too. You don't have to listen to them. <laughs> they work for you. They work for you, guys. Don't listen to them. Print out the Come Town logo. Flyer every part of your community. Absolutely. We're going to get people listening. We're going to boost the money up to twenty eight thousand dollars a month. We're going to spend all the money on cars and have destruction derbies. Oh, fuck. completely unsanctioned. Yeah, <laughs> you you name the intersection, we're going to smash the cars into each other. <laughs> and guess what? We're going to get them insured, so we collect the payout. And guess where that money goes? Right into more cars. More cars, bitch. I think we're, we can get like twenty cars at the, by the end of our insurance scam. Once the money starts compounding on top of it, it starts mm-hmm. coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then we get a guy inside at the insurance company. Mm-hmm. Now we're taking little points off the back end. Ooh. You know, Ooh. I want to be in the mafia, dude. I've been watching The Sopranos again. It's so good. The Sopranos is great. I really want a big TV to watch The Sopranos again. Sopranos and Band of Brothers. I have never really? seen Band of Brothers. Dude, Band of Brothers is the best thing Sopranos that's ever been on television. Sopranos is incredible. Really? Yeah, Band of Brothers, there's nothing, there's no mini series or anything that's ever been as good as Band of Brothers. Damn. It's so much better than Saving Private Ryan. I agree that Saving it's better Private than Saving Private Ryan, okay. but I don't think it's better than Sopranos. It's well, I, I, you can't compare the two because Sopranos is a six season show that was like, and Saving Private Ryan is a three hour movie. Yeah, but Band of Brothers is the in the exact same fucking category. It's an eight hour movie. It's about the same exact thing as Saving Private Ryan, yeah. and it's a much better fucking. It's a much uh-huh. better series. And I think if Vin you take it, in? if you scale Band of Brothers up to six seasons, it seriously would be isn't better. Vin Diesel and Band of Brothers? Uh, no, Band no. of Brothers <laughs> is uh, Donnie Wahlberg. Uh, Ross from Friends. Ross from Wait, Friends. Wait, Ross is in it. He's good. no, he's the drill sergeant. He's, he's the original, the like, yeah, he's the original, like, company commander. Huh. Um, Ross is a goofy ass motherfucker. He's an dude. asshole in Band of Brothers. How are you gonna take that guy seriously? Uh, because he's like a, a, a like a real uh, anal retentive piece of shit, and they all like rally. They were like, yeah, we all hate him. So oh. okay, okay, yeah, he brought I the get boys that. together. Yeah. you know, I he's get that. he's the original Jewish uh, company <laughs> commander that gets edged out for being Jewish. <laughs> That's, yeah. th- I mean, that's literally what happened. <laughs> it's true. They don't like him because he's Jewish. Who else is in it? Uh, Joey, F- Joey Damian, Tribbiani. Damian Lewis. You know who is in it? Uh, oh, I really? Didn't, I didn't know until recently. The guy who played Bane. The guy, Tom Hardy? Tom Hardy. Was yeah. In Bane well, Brothers. briefly. He he's, was super skinny. Yeah, yeah. He's very briefly in it. He's like yeah, in the yeah. background. Yeah, no, no. He wasn't a main character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's he's but a, he's like Jack now. Oh yeah. yeah, he was a skinny, cute boy back in the day. Yeah, yeah, he looked like Stav used yeah. to beat off to him back when it was illegal. Yeah, no, I never beat off to him, but I, you know, I thought about it. He had real puffy lips. Mm. I think I'm just gonna become gay, dude. Oh, did I tell you guys? <laughs> Out Magazine named me one of the eleven plus size men redefining male beauty. Out Magazine. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Why I'm didn't gay, you, dude. that? That should be the top. That of the just hour. happened yesterday. I'm sure it news. wasn't uh, Snout Magazine. <laughs> 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 Fuck you, man! <laughs> Fuck no, not Snout. <laughs> Oink, oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink, oink. Um, wow. Yeah, so you fucking so piece of shit have talked to a celebrity. It was you, Louis Anderson. <laughs> yeah, it was me. <laughs> Who else? It was me. Uh, um, Dom DeLuise. <laughs> yeah. Dom DeLuise. Harvey uh, Firestone. Bruce Valanche. Bruce Valanche. Yes. Uh, what is it about being fat and gay that you just turn into a certain type of it's guy? It's so funny, dude. Yeah. That's the fun. I think they're the funniest people that on earth. Yeah, yeah, big fat, big, big fat, fat gay, gay guys. guys. That's a little like, newsy cap. There's nothing but funny. Like the real fat. Tim is sags. Tim is very different. He's yeah. a, He's he's the only one that I know of that isn't like that. Mm. Well, Tim looks like he just let himself go. He doesn't look like a career fat. So no, right, right, right. Yeah, right, yeah. Right. He's you know? probably gonna get it back for show business. You Maybe. think he'll drop it? I think so. Who, Who knows? knows? 
We gotta have Tim on. Yeah, we should. We have should t- Tim on the live show. We have a. Uh, uh, it's super preliminary, but we might have a uh, Caroline show coming up. I gotta meet Ooh. with um, them on Tuesday. Do like That's a live show. Amazing. Caroline's. Well, I, it's. I don't know if we would. It'll keep just the, be a taping. I don't know if we would keep the uh, the showcase format because. You know, with an audience that size, I'm already kind of weird about taping people's sets. I mean, I run it by everybody. You know. I think we shouldn't do a showcase. I think we should just do a straight podcast. All right. Well, it's not up to you. So me and, <laughs> me and Lewis will talk about it and figure out how we yeah, want to do it. Yeah, I think we should it. do a podcast. Yeah. Thanks, uh, so. I have a podcast Q&A <laughs> session if you want to come out. Hell yeah, dude. We'll do Q&As. Yeah. We're going to be uh, try to give away free merch if we can. We should get some merch going. Yeah. I found the, I found the high-res version of the show logo. Oh, I thought you lost it. I found it. I found it. I, I fucking... I <laughs> that is looked. exactly what... That's how you... He did lose it, and then he found it. It wasn't my fault. Microsoft <laughs> OneDrive, which is a piece of shit, by the way. It what is that, fake. their iCloud? It's their iCloud, and it deleted everything. Everything I've written, every episode really? of the podcast, everything on my fucking Holy hard shit. drive. Yeah, because when when it has like a sync error... If, like, one file is dated wrong, they're like, oh, this doesn't look right. Oh, I guess I'll just delete everything. And start <laughs> over. And I would sit there and watch in real time as it deleted mm-hmm. all my shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah. One time I was working for a fucking... I had a I had a, uh, uh, internship at a nonprofit my senior year of college. And my the Dropbox was synced to my computer. And I wanted to download, like... I don't fucking even remember what it was. Just something retarded. I think I wanted to, like, legitimately, I think it was Duck Hunt. Like, where you just, like, with your mouse, it wasn't even fun. You didn't even get to shoot it. Yeah. There wasn't enough space. So I just thought I was deleting the shit from my computer for the Dropbox. And I deleted the shared everything drive? on the shared drive for this whole nonprofit. And I had to just pretend like I didn't know what happened. I'd be like, yeah. what? I was like, I just went in Monday. They're like, dude, we got hacked. <laughs> they were like, someone, someone, hacked, someone hacked the Montgomery County Roundtable for Education. <laughs> That's so funny. And I just pretended I had no fucking clue what was going on. Yeah, I, I literally did the exact same thing at my internship in college but i had a project i was working on all semester mm. and i lost that project oh, that got sucks. deleted and i told them that uh the hard drive it was a hard drive malfunction and it was my last day also so uh did you ever do it i have to go home for the summer no it's just that uh, they paid me all semester oh, nice. and, yeah it was a failure good for you i just didn't do shit I didn't have to do anything. It was awesome. I got that job. I interviewed, and this bitch thought I was like the best, the best candidate. I'm just good at lying, I guess. And then I just got there, and I just never did shit. Just made coffees with like eight sugars in them. Yeah, just had fucking- I had a temp job. This is one of my favorite jobs. I worked for the Lower Colorado River Authority in and, Texas. In Texas, yeah. And it was it's like a huge organization, and they they manage a dam. And then they like keep track of all this wildlife, and they have all these like energy concerns or whatever. And so I was temping for their HR department, which was like a it's a, a known company is mm-hmm. in its own right. It was like fucking you know it's right. a giant fucking building. Right, right. And I worked the front desk, and like the first day there, they were like, uh, yeah, so we have security officers. This isn't like a security position, but like basically you're responsible for making sure people don't you know, just walk into the office. So, right. like, the way you do that is, you know, somebody comes in, if they try to walk past, you go, excuse me, can I help you? You know, right, right, and stop right. them or whatever, and then just figure out who they want to see, call back to the desk, and then have them come up. Because for security reasons, we can't have people walking back there. I'm like, okay, sure. And I was like, you know, you know, like, what if, you know, somebody works here, and they're like, people don't really come and go. So I'm like, okay, cool. And uh, I'm sitting there, hour goes by, nothing happens. Nobody's nobody's coming in. Finally, somebody comes in. It's a guy with Down syndrome. Oh no! And uh, he just starts. That's m- your first day. First day. <laughs> he, he just starts walking past me. I'm like, um, excuse me, sir. And he just like, uh, and like won't look at me and just blows right past. And I'm like, well, I guess that's how terrorism happens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not going to fucking just manhandle this. Asshole like, retarded guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess his job is collecting the garbage out of the cubicles. So mm. he would go around. I would hear him, and he would go into the woman's behind me's office. And I could hear, uh, she go, we go, well, how are 
are you doing today, Don? <laughs> and then he'd be like, hi, Sneaky. He called her Sneaky. I don't understand why. But he like would that flirt voice. with her. <laughs> yeah. That fucking voice. Then he'd go, hi, Sneaky. <laughs> and then she'd be like, you're Sneaky, Don. he goes, no, you're Sneaky. And he would just go in this woman's office and flirt with her all the time. That's awesome. And then, he would, and, he, and then he would like come out and then look at me and then just fucking mean mug me. Really? Yeah, he hated me. He only liked that one moment. <laughs> he could tell. Yeah. Well, you could no. You just that you know they, he gets territorial about right. the woman he's trying to have sex with. Yeah, in the second cubicle. That's really all that is. Yeah, one hundred. He's still someone with sexual impulses, and the inability to filter it through you know woke criticality. So he, you know, <laughs> it's okay for him to just go in he there. He probably and fucks good. The mentally handicapped probably fuck good. Yeah. I don't know if they fuck good, but a lot of them have massive dicks. Yeah, they beat off Big all the time. Dicks, yes, of course. I remember in gym class, there's this kid, Robert. It was just, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> just like, that was his best period. <laughs> gym class, can you imagine how great that must have been for him? <laughs> just having to suffer through math, and they're like, Robert, do you know what a plus sign is? And he's like, can I just show everyone my dick? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. They're like, no, Robert, you have to do math right now. <laughs> He's like, I just want to show people my dick and the do pres- feats of strength. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the presidential pull-up challenge, he did like 75 pull-ups <laughs> <laughs> with just this massive dick. Just dangling. Yeah. As and a the, weight. the coach, like, I remember one time he was just walking around the, you know what? I, the I, locker I, 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 room I, I, naked and everyone was like looking at his dick and he was just loving it. We're all laughing. <laughs> <and how big. laughs> really? He was just like parading around. I, I have a theory. Just, I have a theory about that. I think that's it's actually, it's like an interesting interesting um it's like evo biology mm. is that what happens is during uh you know the gestation period or whatever um your stem cells are recognized they're like okay there's like a serious you know problem in in like the mm-hmm. you know neurological systems here like this person is gonna be born retarded <laughs> let's just try again with the next one make the dick and balls as big as possible <laughs> so people fuck it and then maybe the baby won't be retarded <laughs> And that's why that happened. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it's you should just do. like let's just. I try thought it man. was the unused brain matter that gets wrapped up as dick, that it's probably like fluffed out on the side by brain. You know, what you it's should missing. do is you should find a pair of retarded twins, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's this inject guy, hot water into their brains. There's this guy Joseph <laughs> Mengele. Drill okay? a hole in their skull and. <laughs> Joseph and pour Mingle. hot chocolate directly on their brains. Let, let's see if they dream about Christmas. <laughs> if I pour hot chocolate directly on the brains of the twins. We're going to inject cum into their eyeballs and see if they make little eyeball babies. <laughs> Dude, how easy it must have been to be a Nazi scientist. It was so awesome. You yeah. do whatever I mean, you they made a bunch of cool shit. Not for nothing. That's why we gave him jobs after the war. They probably had cool weapons. Not Mangala. Mangala went to South America? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. what use is fucking U.S. or Soviet Union going to have for Mangala? No. What do you But, do? you know, Werner Von Braun. The jet propulsion lab. Yeah, what did Mangala yeah. do? He was the, 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 the dude that did experiments on twins yeah, in Auschwitz. He was the Angel of Death. Angel you remember of that death, Slayer yeah. song, oh. Angel of Death? Yeah, it's about Mangala. It's about, about Mangala. how cool he was. Yeah. Good at science. <laughs> yeah. Is Slayer Nazis? No, Slayer's not Nazis, but they get kind of close with that song. It's just like all metal is like, you right. know, they're just obsessed with, uh, it's supposed people to be like a horror movie people or whatever. Yeah. 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 Slayer's Spooky. no more a Nazi than fucking, you know, uh, uh, the director of uh, fucking, I don't know, pick a Nazi movie is. Oh, uh, I thought you were going to talk about um, Lars von Trier, who's, who... Do you remember what he said Sounds that thing like about Hitler? Thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you say? I imagine Hitler in things. his bunker, just sitting there with a gun, and I love him. I, I think that it's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I think it's, I think it's kind of beautiful. <laughs> like it's just like, <laughs> shut up, dude. Yeah, he's saying shut that. Up. Fucking uh, uh, Kirsten Stewart's like sitting next to him, and she's like. <sighs> <laughs> no, it's like, all like Kristen Dunst. Kristen, Kristen Dunst. Dunst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's even better. Yeah. Dunst. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I love Lars von Trier. And I think he was like, I was. You know, it's weird. Did you ever think about, about this? Lars Vern Troyer? Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that weird? Hell yeah, just a midget. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd midget be cool. That I, I had this idea too uh, Snow White and the Stephen Dorfs. <laughs> that's pretty oh. good. Yeah. That would be a pretty fun good. Yeah. Just a bunch of Steven Dwarfs. Um, did you guys ever see Minnie Me's dick? Uh, it was out there. He well, everyone's sucked. like, oh, he's got a big dick. and It, it was small as shit. Of course it was. Well, like, yeah. dwarfs have, like, uh, bigger dicks proportionally, right? 
Yeah, Dude, he sure, had a little ass dick. Barnacles. He had a little ass dick. Barnacles? That doesn't make them human. Well, it just makes them cool. Yeah. Dude, he had a little ass dick, and it was like just some like off brand ass Playboy bunny was sucking it. It's pretty good. There's a mini me sex tape out there, guys, if you want to check it out. That's Stav's pick of the week. You know what's the funniest sex <laughs> tape? Destroyer sex tape. Is uh, Bobbitt. What's his name? John Bobbitt. The guy yeah, that has John, dick. John Wayne Bobbitt. Yeah. Do we, who's the Bobbitt really guy? Talk Didn't we talk about this last who's week? The, who's the Bobbitt guy? Lorena Bobbitt. Yeah, John Bobbitt. John Bobbitt. Yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. I was shocked at... But I swear to God, I thought Bo- Joey Butterfuco was the one who got his dick chopped off. Well, it was anyway. the same time period. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. did you see that porno? No. I haven't seen any... I've, I've Honestly, I've never seen a single celebrity like porno. Yeah. Oh, Not I saw the one. China really? one. The, oh, actually, I saw you the Ray J. I saw the Ray J. Kim Kardashian one. Yeah, that was yeah. like the only one I've Ray ever seen. Never saw Tommy Lee uh, at Pamela. I Anderson saw a bit of that on yeah. the boat. Yeah, where he's driving the boat, driving the boat with his dick. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a big ass dick. So does Ray J. Ray J's dick continues far too long. Uh, yeah, I guess. To and you can continued. barely see. And also, I remember being so nonplussed at that porno yeah because it's filmed in a weird angle it's filmed bad and you it's from like see it's your from tits. above her head yeah facing backwards it's bizarre yeah facing he's he's, he's definitely a he's guy that gets point. off on watching himself and he's like but, licking yeah. his lips all the yeah. time well and I mean, it's like yeah. i just it makes me mad because i want to kiss him and then suck his That's, i love that scene in american psycho where he's fucking yes, flexing of course yeah it's such a fucking funny scene <laughs> well don't just a, stare at it eat it that's how i have so yeah well, Do you guys ever give yourself a personal high five while you're getting a blowjob? No. no Do it next time. Stupid. Do well, it like next this? time. What are you, four clapping? years old? What you're talking about is clapping, by the way. Yeah. Well, no, it's <laughs> a high, high clap. Five. It's just one high clap above your head. That's clapping, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. Um, no, I'm celibate, dude. I'll never fuck again. I've decided. I so, think I am, too. I, I, I fucked up, and I didn't do the notes list for this week. I tried to, but then I was like... Well, what happened? I'm like, oh, the news. Yeah, the news is gay. The news yeah. is fucking stupid. The CIA report today. Yeah, that says that what? Uh, the that CIA hacked- is actually good. No, they hacked the. Uh, apparently, new they CIA hacked the report RNC says well. that the CIA isn't bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were actually uh, a, a, a good organization that didn't, uh, you know, invent the crack epidemic and destabilize kill a bunch of Middle Eastern countries. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, uh, I'm just talking about the, oh, the real the ones. Cool ones. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Iraq had weapons of mass destruction. Let's <laughs> stop pretending like they didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, in, that intelligence support Iran was right. Iran in the 60s, they too. They managed to hide the weapons of mass destruction. That's why we didn't find them. The Iraq war wasn't a mistake. Absolutely not. Uh, oh, yeah. We can all In fact, I, I think we should have gone harder. <laughs> we should have what taken over. We should have taken over Iraq, expanded their borders to uh, include the entirety of the Middle East, mm-hmm. and then staged the insurgency after we did that, and then continue the war against the new Iraq, Greater Iraq, which is the entirety of the Middle East, including Israel, especially Israel. Especially, Israel. yeah, yeah. Well, if we let goddamn MacArthur go in, like like uh, he wanted, yeah. To. Well, Patton, uh, Patton. If we yeah, let yeah. General Patton go in and invade <laughs> the Middle East after after the war ended, is that what he wanted to do? Yeah, Patton. Patton refused to uh, like uh, drink with the Russians at the end of the war. Uh, That's awesome. Yeah, he was like, I don't trust these. They're Asiatic. They're not white. <laughs> These fucking <laughs> bastards. <laughs> He's like, we should They're kill all of them. <laughs> yeah. Which, like, the U.S. would have lost that war. 100%. Absolutely, we would have not won that fucking war if we went to war with Russia. I mean, I guess, I guess we nuked them. Could have, but I mean, what kind of, what was our ability to deploy nukes in those, In it, yeah. like, the Manhattan Project was fucking huge. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, maybe they could have rapidly developed them, but as far as, like, the continuing ground war would go on oh. the Western Front, the United States would be fucked. He just would have thrown, I mean, he just doesn't give a fuck about throwing peasants at people. Yeah. We would have just got... Yeah, was it 20 million or 25 million Russians died? It's pretty yeah. funny. Yeah. His, like, you just, they probably didn't even have guns and shit. They <laughs> just, like, yeah, trying to just punch... Yeah, yeah, human <laughs> shield. Like, yeah. Punch Nazis with guns. Yeah, where is it? Stalingrad or Leningrad? They deserve to pick our president, is what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah when, know, the hardships we... that the Russian people go through, they their vote should count more than yours, honestly. <laughs> you some fucking piece of shit, graphic designer, <laughs> never done anything in your life, and you're going to say some Russian guy who was trained for the Olympics starting at age two, Yeah, and they blew out his knee at 17, now he works in a factory making poison that he has to drink. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> he shouldn't get to pick who president is. No, I, I, right. I disagree. I think he should. Yeah, I, absolutely. Have we? We've hated all the them? countries should vote for each other's presidents. That way, it's fun, dude. Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> that would be fun. It's democracy, and it's still a new world order. Yeah. Brazil would just be like those girls with the fucking headdresses and the No, it out. would be uh, Mike in Brazil. He'd, uh, I'd, yeah, I'd Mike for, in Brazil. I'd vote for him for president. <laughs> <laughs> Come be, on, he's the most important and famous Brazilian. He's got a lot of foreign policy Donna experience. Brazil? Donna Brazil. Donna Brazil is the prime minister of Brazil. <laughs> I'd vote for Trevor Noah for a South African how about, president. How about Send Trevor Shoah as the president of oh, Israel? Oh, Shoah oh. that dick. Shoah us that dick. Um... Yeah, dude. I, I have we only, we were cool with them during Yeltsin, but that's pretty much it. Who Russia? Oh, yeah, over the last hundred years, we've hated each other pretty much the entire. Except time. when they were fucking up the Nazis. Well, kind of. That was like that was like kind of enemy of my enemy, right? Yeah, but there. I mean, while that was going on, we were you know they would meet and hang out and shit. But they were boys with Hitler, you know. They like, but then Hitler fucked them or something. I don't fucking know. Yeah, <laughs> who cares? <laughs> who gives a shit? Uh, you're listening to uh, Hardcore History with James <laughs> Harlan. So there's these fucking uh, they're Polynesians, which you might recognize their sauce from Chick Fil A. Oh, that's some good sauce. Yeah, yeah that's the there. best one at Chick Fil A. It's not the best one, but I it's a good. It it's a good like. So I the, think you go Chick Fil A sauce. The Polynesians. It's actually it's a Greek word. So they're Greeks. Yeah. And poly <laughs> means many, and Nisians means like Penis. Nisians. <laughs> Nisians. It's like amnesia, where you yeah. can't remember shit. So poly means many memories. It's Greek. Polynesia Ooh. means memory. So it's a historical vacation spot. It was like the oh. Disney World of the Byzantine period. Ooh. And you're like, oh, Byzantine, what's that? Well, that's interesting. Let's go into that, Dan Carlin yeah. style. Yeah, so, let's Carlin it down. Uh, Byzantine, that's like, you know, hands off my ducats. Well, no, Don't touch biz? my business. It's like biz- business. This is my business. Yeah. So business, yes. what the business is. They're about that is. business. They're about that money. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So basically, it's the tourism business is what... Yeah, yeah. Ba- that, was, mm. that was the king in mm. ancient Greece. Yeah. And, oh, uh, Les- Lesbos, the Isle of Lesbos. Yeah. That's where lesbians. It is, dude. Yeah. They were eating each other's pussies back back in the day, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Greeks just did that's, nothing. That's but my history. That's <laughs> why. That's why Greece. I mean, similar to the United States, why Greece fell is because they had democracy and it was great. And then everybody started fucking each other. They became very cool with like you know fluid gender identities and stuff. And then, well, that's it. That's the end. <laughs> uh, that's what people say. That's what's going to happen here. Yeah. You know? I mean, you let anybody who wants use the bathroom. Next thing you know. Abortions, uh, aliens come and and decimate the I United mean, States, <laughs> yeah. and we can't do anything about it because we're too busy going to the bathroom. That's people true. who don't believe in like space the, Romans, the trans people are real though, are much better at fighting than people that do. Yeah, do you know no. what I mean? well, that's what's so funny about like we all these people we protesting, MMA. all these people protesting the the election yeah, results, and it's like we you got know, one recounts guy. and stuff, and it's like if you actually let Hillary win the election, the now, civil war, they'll kill us. Uh, yeah, those are the guys that would actually they'll they already us. have the, the guns, guys. the guns that you're afraid of. Yeah. Uh yeah no the militia guys will kill you they'll take all your resources and you know you kind of deserve it I think <laughs> if it because then at that point you were wrong all those fucking you know you're watching reality shows about preppers or whatever you know like oh look at this dumbass and all of his soup and then what <laughs> happens yeah you get shot in your tiny little dick there's no soup for you asshole mm-hmm. oh hey Seinfeld that Seinfeld. no yeah. soup for yeah, you yeah you kind of soup like, Nazi. Yeah. it's a guy that's got a bunker. <laughs> And he hates Jews. He just happens to have a lot of soup and is a Nazi. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, fuck. That's the world I want to fucking live in, dude. Yeah, dude. You got that Vitamix? (coughs) Just think how good you'll be in the apocalypse with that Vitamix. Uh, Get some sticks, some pebbles, put that shit in there with some like vanilla extract. You got yourself some ice cream, baby. (laughs) Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Put the pebbles in the freezer. It's a synthesis machine, basically. You need to get a generator. A generator. That's what you need. A generator. Run that thing, gasoline powered indoors. Get It'll that give me a c- pussy. carbon monoxide. <laughs> Kill yourself, garage style. Um, That's a good way to go out. Yeah, I had a really weird dream last night. Oh yeah, yeah. I dreamed, and I think that this is, might might be a good idea for corporate America. Mm-hmm. But I had this image that stuck with me from my dream of like a Chinese iPhone factory. But everyone in the factory is sitting on toilets. Mm. So it'll like up their worker productivity so they don't get bathroom breaks. 
So they're just like literally building would, phones would, and taking shit. Would your asshole fall yeah, out? Yeah, eventually you would just prolapse your asshole if you did that. You can't sit on a toilet for eight hours a day. Well, no, you bring the seat back down and then you sit on. They don't it even like have chair. toilets though. They fucking yeah, squat. they were making wear diapers. Well, they should diapers. That's if they the have, if they give everyone a diaper in the iPhone factory, I was, I was laughing for like an hour and a half yesterday, imagining different races coming into a bathroom and using the urinal. Oh yeah, that was fucking. Oh yeah, yeah. Text 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 like a fucking <laughs> a Japanese guy coming into a bathroom and he like, you know, bows at the urinal and then he takes his shoes off and then he takes his pants completely off and then, like folds them neatly, <laughs> perfectly. The, yeah, yeah, and puts them above. <laughs> Puts his above or like uh, bows like, towards the urinal, yeah, yeah. or, <laughs> or, or like so you know, like an Indian guy in like a really cool silk paisley shirt, mm-hmm. and he's just like, "What is up, my guy?" You know, he's <laughs> very excited to be in the bathroom, and then he's just standing at the urinal, arms akimbo, and he just starts pissing his pants because <laughs> he doesn't know that you're supposed to. <laughs> he's, just, he's just like being cool so he, right, he forgets right, right, to pull right, his pants right, down right, right. or it's like a black guy with his pants sagging and then he takes like 30 seconds to undo his belt and then he just pulls his pants down like literally a millimeter <laughs> 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 and, then he, and then he starts peeing I was laughing too imagining like a, a bathroom and a guy at a urinal and he's got his pants all the way down his ankles and like other guys come in and they start laughing at him and they're like oh ha ha and he's like oh yeah watch this and then he just starts shitting all over the floor <laughs> out of his house. And like the guys are like, cool. <laughs> yeah, that is cool. Him. I yeah, would yeah. respect him. One yeah. time I saw a turd in a fucking urinal. And I'm just like, <laughs> come hilarious. on, Nate. Like, the fucking I've work. I've seen that. Yeah. that the but, work this I love when you look at that and you're like, prank or homeless? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is it? Yeah, is this a good bit or sad as hell? Yeah, like, yeah. It's so un- I pissed yesterday on the fuck. I had to piss so bad. I just waited for everyone to leave the subway platform after my train before the people for the next train came. Just quickly pissed and right as I was pissing, you pissed on the tracks. I just pissed. Yeah, I just pissed on the platform at the end of the platform. End of the kind of cool. the middle. I don't want to walk all the way. You can down, piss in you know? between the trains if you want. You can. Yeah, yeah you just, just walk legal. in between the trains in between stations. Could take a nice long piss. Hmm. That's not bad. It's, it'd be great if you mistime it too. <laughs> and he just pulls up the, the <laughs> station and you're just pissing on everybody. As the train pulls in, you're like, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Dude, going to the bathroom is so fucking funny. I had fucking a- trans people want to take it away from us. Dude, they want to make it so straight people can't go to the bathroom. They just want anymore. the right to also shit in the urinal, dude. Yeah. Wait, do trans people in the South have to dipe up? Is that like their only yeah, option? Yeah, I guess North Carolina has fucked them completely. So North Carolina trans dude, people... Dude, if, are- if I was a trans person in North Carolina, I would fucking shit in every dressing room. <laughs> I'd go I'd be like, oh yeah, well, I couldn't use the bathroom, so I'm sorry, I had to shit on the floor of your dressing room. Are they allowed in dressing rooms? Yeah. What if well, dressing labeled? rooms are... Men Not all of them, baby. Oh, no. oh, then even better. I would just wear a dress and then shit directly in the floor in the aisle. <laughs> Pretend I'm looking at DVDs or something and then just shit while standing up. And then be like, I've made my purchases. And then, like, just step over it and walk out. Step on it. Yeah. Just smear your fucking I was in a heel. Walmart one time and there was like dog heels. shit in the, on the floor. Hell in the yes. aisle. Mm-hmm. Where? In the Walmart. In New Hampshire. Nice. Yeah. It's nice to know no matter where you go, Walmart is like trash. Like it's the I heard Walmart's Walmart coming back. In what sense? But from what? They started paying... Yeah. When, were they, when were they ever here? So, like, Walmart, um, like, turned into, like, in a lot of towns, because they were so understaffed, like, the, they, like, tur- people were getting a lot of complaints that there were, like, no products on the on the shelves, and that lines were insanely long. They'd have, like, one register open, because yeah, yeah, yeah. they wanted to, like, for, like, a, you know, 50,000 square foot facility, have, like, three people working at <laughs> right, a time. Right, right, right. Um, and then they just decided that they were going to raise wages and increase the amount of workers, and they're seeing increased profits. That might be some bullshit, like... Well, yeah, where did you hear that? The uh, Walmart website? I you gotta stop, Walmart you gotta stop with Planet. these damn tidbits, man. <laughs> yeah. These fucking boring-ass facts. <laughs> I'm expecting you to riff on it or say something. And yeah, like, yeah. No, actually, they're just doing well. <laughs> it's no. good, good for you the know how many people family? shut off the podcast while you're you were explaining that? Zero. No, a hundred. Yeah, if you're out there and you stopped listening because of that, well, they wouldn't hear it. this. No, they, well, they would instinctively turn it back on. Their friend would, yeah, Wait, their friend would, would let them gay. know <sighs> that they could tell when it wasn't gay. Man, those show notes are going to be so important <laughs> coming up. <laughs> We don't really do politics stuff, but there was so much going on during the election, and now it's like, 
What do you What do you talk about? Yeah, you know? I mean, we can talk about how it's funny that Ben Carson is fucking. That's politics. Oh yeah. Can we not talk about politics? No, man. I I wanted to talk about Arrival and how it sucked, but then I'm like, yeah, that movie sucks. And then, and then we I didn't really see have, it. I don't really have a follow up. <laughs> yeah. It's just a bad movie. We should go see Cats, dude, and review That's it. That's why I could never review TV or like movies or whatever. I don't understand how they're like, well, I just watched the third episode of the sixth season of Game of Thrones, and here's 1,500 words. Right. They always do these big uh, ass Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, it was all right. Yeah. That's enough of a review for me. It's okay. Yeah. Give me a letter grade. That's yeah, all yeah, yeah. That's uh, that's great. In terms uh, of review, like somebody asked me, I was at work, and some review? guy yeah. was like, you know, I was like, Arrival's bad. He's like, I've only heard good things. Why was it bad? And I was like, you know, it's fucking stupid. And <laughs> yeah, it's, a- it's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can just come up with synonyms for bad. I can't tell you why something is bad. I just say, oh, it was stupid. Did I cover that already. I am. Um, I'm I- watching Young Pope right now. That One of my good. Hollywood Jew connections sent me the whole the whole oh, first yeah? season. Yeah, I can wow. email it to you if you want. I'd like to. Yeah, Who's your really Hollywood good. Jew connection? Come on, probably yeah. My one, probably, uh, uh, Jeff, Phil, Phil. Phil. Yeah. Oh, where's um, our? I need an extra don't, PlayStation. Don't, Phil. You just threw Phil under the bus. What if it work finds out? What if his boss at Sony is listening to this and he finds out that Phil's illegally distributing content? Yeah, it's not Sony. Well, listen, whatever. Phil, uh, get us it's very good. You already got right. I want a PlayStation Let's Pro. get a PlayStation update, dude. What's been going on with the PlayStation? He has been one playing game. FIFA. Um, been watching Sopranos on it. Uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, I have to stop playing video games. Like, I just already? Won't do You've had the PlayStation for a week and a half. But, but no, you, but you know what I mean. It's like, if I buy a ton of games and shit, I'm just like... Like, yesterday I had a bunch of fucking plans and I just played FIFA for like... Are you on hours. doing season mode? Nah, my friend George is over. We just fucking played FIFA a bunch. Oh, uh, that's great. You know? All right. Well, another apology for this one, folks. <laughs> but we're going to have that Christmas album up on the Patreon sometime soon. Me and Stav are going to do it. Adam won't be included. And uh, <laughs> What about my Hanukkah song? Adam can b- record his own Hanukkah <laughs> song and post it on a different website. <laughs> Uh, if he so chooses <laughs> and you want to listen to it, you can go to www.songnoonewantstolistento.co.il or .israel or whatever it is, <laughs> slash, please don't listen to this, slash geocities, uh, dot I'm gay, yeah, dot, dot fuck, dot coin, dot, s- <laughs> dot sent the sense sign, however you know. Uh, hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, why do Jews love candles so much? That's what I want to know. What? There's a lot of candles. Catholics love candles, That's true. too. That's true. They Latinos do. love candles. Latinos, Latinos, Latinos candles. fuck with candles. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got the fucking... I guess, you know what, guys? Saints I guess people Virgin just Mary. love candles. Yeah. Greek Yo, people. that's like a thing now. Like, that's a thing now. But people have been... But like mentioning to me, oh yeah, I've been getting into candles, like expensive <laughs> candles. They my roommates, good. my roommates started getting into expensive candles. She bought like a ninety dollar candle. And, I do uh, associate that with white women, though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, that Brandon. Is, I think Brand. Oh yeah, yeah. Were white we women talk shit about Brandon. Yeah, I think Brandon's, Brandon's into, into candles. Into of candles course he now. fucking yeah. is. What dude. the fuck is that? Why is he into candles? What happened to Yankee I hope he Candle burns, Boy? I hope he burns his house down. <laughs> I hope Brandon Wardell burns to death in an ironic candle fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I thought it would be funny if I had candles like a white girl. <laughs> Gu- guess what, guys? A Fallout Boy is good. Actually, it's yeah. not bad. <laughs> That's probably what happened to that. Oak thing with some Brandon doing irony candles. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking place burned down. And that uh, if you guys haven't watched that video yet of that fucking asshole, that Derek oh, I still Derek have Ion. Is that his name? name? Yeah, it's not his real name. He goes by Derek Ion. Oh my god. Why would fedoras. you change your name but keep Derek as part of your name? I don't know. That piece uh, of shit. I hope that guy goes to, I hope he gets fucking he's just in prison for the rest of his yeah. fucking life. Yeah, he fucking those people are living under horrific conditions. Yeah. Uh, well, with that, we're gonna we're gonna cl- wrap this one out. Um, if you're disappointed, again, Adam's fault. Uh, <laughs> no one else's fault but Adam's. Uh, and stay tuned for that. I'll, I'll just I'll start calling businesses to Seth or something. Make up for it. But uh, you guys are great. Thanks. Bye.